Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to the Monday edition of Bible Tract Echoes. And as my announcer said, this is the radio arm of a larger ministry, Bible Tracts Incorporated. And I want you to know that word tracts is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. In a moment, I will tell you why that spelling is critical. It not only is part of our web address, but if you are going to get information from us, you really need to have that word spelled correctly because there are different kinds of tracts. I've got a gospel tract in my hand here I want to tell you about, but I want to get us ready here for our Bible study this way. If you can, reach over, get your own copy of the Word of God and go to Leviticus chapter 4. We are looking at the book of Leviticus, basically a chapter at a time, and my title for chapter 4 is this, Can I Sin and Not Know It? Can I Sin and Not Know It? Some time ago, I was traveling. I had to be on a toll road. I don't like to pay the tolls, but I, there I was. But the traffic was very, very heavy. And before I knew it, I was basically forced into the toll lane that was designed for cars with prepaid toll passes. And I didn't have one. Well, I knew all was going to happen. I was going to be forced into the toll lane. A picture of my license plate would be taken and I would receive a ticket in the mail. And sure enough, I did. I wound up having to pay a penalty for a driving violation that I committed unintentionally. But the bottom line is this. I drove in the wrong lane and I was guilty. Now, let me change gears in my telling of a story here right at this point. During my 30 years of pastoral ministry, before coming to Bible Tracks, I would occasionally offend some of the folk that were in the churches that I pastored. I became aware of the problem only when that person that I had offended became cool towards me. Only once when I went and found out what the problem was could I make it right. But sinning out of ignorance is the whole point of chapter 4. Remember my title for chapter four, Can I Sin and Not Know It? Well, the answer is yes. I have sinned against people and not known it. I've sinned against God and not known it. What do you do with that? That's the point of Leviticus chapter four. Get your Bible, get something on which you can take some notes, please. I spelled that word tracks for you a moment ago, T-R-A-C-T-S a gospel tract, a short written presentation of God's plan of salvation. I want to give you a free sample packet of gospel tracts. One of the tracts is in my hand right now. It's entitled, We're Grateful. We are grateful. This tract is designed for men and women who presently are serving in the military or have in the past served in the military. We have found out that many military personnel, and especially those who have been on a battlefield, have a, have a skewed, have a false idea that if they die for their country in battle, that that'll be a ticket for them to get into heaven. God will honor them. Or if they're severely wounded, God will honor them and let them into heaven. I'm not sure where this philosophy comes from, but it doesn't come from the word of God. This gospel track, We're Grateful, is designed to help military personnel, present and past, to say, thank you for your service. We're grateful for what you've done, but you need Jesus Christ as Savior. I want to tell you right here and now, many a military person has received Christ through this track. If you have somebody in the military that needs Christ, here's a track. If you have somebody anticipating going into the military, here's a good track. Please, please, at the end of the broadcast, when my announcer gives our contact information, go and just jot it down. Give us your name and address and send us, please, that information. We'll send you that sample packet free of charge. Or you can go to our website, which is Bible Tracks, Inc., dot org and contact us that way. 
One more bit of uh, business here. In just a couple of weeks, we plan to do some major printing in the country of Pakistan. We plan to print another 1.3 million gospel tracts inside the country. The cost of that is $22,000. And when these tracts are put to use, I will guarantee thousands of men and women and young people will come to know Christ as Savior. Now, right now, the workers are ready, but we just don't have the tracts printed because uh, we don't have the money in hand. Would you prayerfully consider helping us with this? We'd be grateful, but even more importantly, those who come to Christ and have everlasting life, their, their lives will be just rejoicing that you helped and gave. Thank you for considering this. If your Bible's open with me to the book of Leviticus chapter 4, the opening verses say this, The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not be done, and shall do against any of them, if the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin, which he hath sinned, a young bullock without blemish, unto the Lord for a sin offering. This is a sin offering being dealt with here. You could go over with me to verse 13, where there we're told if the whole congregation sins. Over in verse 22, if the ruler sins. Verse 27, if anybody in the common people sins. This is a sin offering that's being talked about here in Leviticus chapter 4 and spilling over into chapter 5. Did you notice as I began reading there in chapter 4 and verse 1, you saw those words, and the Lord spake unto Moses? Those are signal words. You're going to find the same kind of words at the beginning of Leviticus chapter 1. You're going to find them here, obviously, in chapter 4. You're going to find them in chapter 5 and verse 14 and chapter 6 and verse 8. And I call them signal words for this reason. Each time here in Leviticus, you're going to find those words, they signal that a new set of instructions are being given. Here, the instructions are concerning a different kind of sacrifice, because in chapters 1, 2, and 3, those sacrifices dealt with the consecration of the people. They were consecration offerings. They were all voluntary. But now in chapters 4 and 5, we're going to find cleansing offerings. These deal with sins done by the people. So, since a new type of offering was being discussed, God signaled that fact by these words, the Lord spake unto Moses. Now, as I read in chapter 4 there a moment ago, I read in verse 2 that what's in view here is sins, sin offerings. But notice in verse 2, it says that that was sins of ignorance, sins done unintentionally. Sometimes you may hear somebody refer to these sins as sins done unwittingly or inadvertently. In other words, the person committing the sins was not even aware that they were sinning against the Lord. Now, remember my title for Leviticus chapter 4? It was, Can I Sin and Not Know It? I told you the answer. The answer is yes. We can sin and not know it. You and I can sin. We can break one of God's laws, not be aware of it. But guess what God labels what we've done? He calls what we've done sin. You and I can be so cavalier about our sin, can't we? We can we can convince ourselves that since, well, since I did not know I was sinning, therefore, it must not really be a sin. That, beloved, is just not true. That is having a man-centered religious philosophy, not a Bible-centered, not a heaven-centered. Before I get done with Leviticus chapter 4, I'm going to use three or four words, all beginning with the letter C, like in the word cat. My first word here is the word confront, confront. You and I need to confront the fact that we so easily, so readily sin. 
I am right now. I am talking to you and I who know Christ as our Savior. We need to daily seek God's scrutiny of our soul through the Spirit's inspection in that indwells us to see if there's any wicked way in us. We need to confront three things. Notice three words that begin with the letter A. First of all, we need to confront the amount of sinfulness. We need to confront the amount of sinfulness that still remains in us. The old nature is there. Glory to God when we got saved. A new nature was given to us through the indwelling ministry of the Spirit of God. But point A here in confrontation is that we must deal with the amount of our hearts that are not yet conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Dear believer, as soon as you and I think that we are doing pretty good spiritually, those that uh, think they're standing, we better take heed lest we fall. Amen. And we've all been there. If you and I have been saved about 20 minutes, we have felt pretty, uh, pretty big for our britches at some point in time spiritually and then got knocked off our pedestal. Well, point A, the amount of sinfulness. Point B, the atonement. If I were to stop and read verse 20, well, let me go over to verse 20. Chapter 4, verse 20 says this, And he shall do with the bullock as he did with the bullock for the sin offering, so shall he do with this, and the priest shall make an atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. There is an atonement. There is a way to have sins atoned for, sins removed. The sin offering was designed so believers, people already belonging to Christ, belonging to God, can know their sins are covered by a blood sacrifice. That leads me to my third word beginning with the letter A. I talked about the amount of sin. There's an atonement for sin, but now the assurance about our sin. The Old Testament Jewish person Uh, there upon seeing the blood being shed could have full assurance that their sins were no longer hindering their relationship with God. Sometimes we read here in Leviticus 4, uh, go and read the three places where the, the priest sprinkled the blood that was shed there for this sin offering. He sprinkled it at the veil. He sprinkled it at the altar of incense. He sprinkled it at the brazen altar. These three places told the Jewish person that, one, the person of God was satisfied. Two, their prayers to God were now accepted. And three, the price through death and shed blood. It was sufficient to deal with their sin. Now that person's conscience could know that they were clean before God because their sins were covered by the blood. They could have full assurance of being right with God, practical righteousness. I've got some more words beginning with the letter C that we'll deal with on Wednesday's study. But right now, I want you to know that through Jesus' shed blood, even the sins we commit after salvation, they have been atoned for. All we need to do is do what 1 John 1, 9 says. If we confess our sin, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh, dear friend who knows Christ, Our Heavenly Father wants you and I to have full assurance of forgiveness of sin and walk in peace, the peace with God, with Him. Amen. Friend, if you don't know Christ as Savior, there's a way to be right with God, but it's through the shed blood of Jesus, shed at Calvary. Receive Him today. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.